Hey guys, Decop13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We came across quite a few bombshells last time. We found Terror's hideout, learned that Terror is actually Tokiko's child. Phew. So, yeah. So, I, I, I'm assuming. Well, actually, we know. So, it's, he's not only. Well, I shouldn't say hey, because I don't know if it's a guy yet. Terror isn't just Tokyo's child. They're also Chikara's child. So, hmm. Seems like they were kept in that room for most of their lives, too. So, well, let's do our usual look around. See if there's any funny dialogue. under the rug. Hey, Mario. Don't you hate it how at beauty salons they make you sit in front of the mirror after getting your head shampooed? <laughs> sure. I guess it's serious time so they don't want to give you any funny haha -ha dialogue. everything. Let me talk to Iba. Oh, never mind. All right. Hey, boss, do you get along with your daughter? Well, we're not blood-related either. She's adopted? Yeah, but we get along well. That's nice. I'm kind of jealous. Some families run deeper than blood. Yep. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even get along. You have other relationships, right? Mizuki, you do have a lot of friends. And most importantly, a boss who's reliable and kind. Kind? <laughs> I am kind! If an elderly woman was trying to cross the street, I'd stop cars for her. You could also carry her. Thanks, you too. All these people really need to understand that they're loved. <laughs> I, I feel like that's one of the recurring themes of the characters in this game. They don't understand that people around them love them. Alright, about the blood. Ah, oh, right. Regarding the blood around the slice. I'm guessing it was from the four victims, right? We tested it for DNA matches. Jin Furaway. Shikara Horidori. Yonaharu Enda, a.k.a. Andes Komeji. Tokiko Shigure. There's more? And one more. One more? Yeah, five different DNA. Who was the fifth? But we don't know who the fifth person was. Oh, uh, so there's another victim. Which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about that. All right, about the diary. Terror's diary. I read it, too. There's a ton we can get from it. But the most intriguing thing is the Nirvana Initiative. How are the HB case and that plan related? There is still much we do not understand. We do not know who Terror is and why they were imprisoned there. About knives. Okay, I'll give you the rundown. Six years ago, after the incident at the Cathedral, the armed vigilantes scurried under whatever rocks they could find across the country. Their group was forced underground. 
It is thought that they are still active, despite our investigations yielding little results. And of course, we interrogated everyone we caught as hard as we legally could. But they didn't give up anything. We got a search warrant for Nice, looked through all their documents. But we could not find any incriminating evidence. That's why Nice is still kicking today. They are as cunning as they are ruthless. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some investigating. Wait, you haven't gotten any sleep. You should rest first. You're kidding, aren't you? That look in your eyes is telling me to keep fighting through it. <laughs> you know me very well, Mizuki. Where do you plan to go? Well, let's see. I think I want to start by talking to Lian. Maybe there was something he noticed that I overlooked. And next, Shoma. We still have to find Shoma. I haven't been able to ask him about the one-wheeled robot yet. And then Mame. I think Mame knows something about the Nirvana Initiative. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Nirvana Initiative. Understood. I have confirmed their locations. Lian is at Iowen, Shoma is at home, and Amame is at Brahmin. I want to gather more information too. I've got to go to Lemnisgate, Devita, and Marble. Understood. Let's get going. Don't push yourself too hard, Mizuki. Sir, yes, sir. Understood. All right. Well, let's start by going to the Ender Residence. Talk to Shoma. We haven't seen him yet after six years. Katatsu's during the winter are the best. He still look like a kid. I don't know anyone who would use them during the summer. Uh, hey, Mizuki! Holy shit, Shum. I guess this is what happened to him. I... Did he get eternal youth? Can you not barge into my place and use my kotatsu? What? It's nothing. I wanted to ask something. So he doesn't age. Do you have time right now? Shouldn't you or have asked that at the slowly. front door? It's the Katatsu's fault for being here. Katatsu, bad girl. Wearing a backpack with a t-shirt on makes the back of the shirt right up. The dull talks, huh? Yeah, but I didn't make it. I just bought one that could talk. Huh. Interesting doll, Komeji. Wonder where I found that. Shoma, question time. <laughs> Preschool, elementary schooler, adult. Which one is the biggest? Um... The adult? Nope. Preschool. A preschool is a building. The other two are people. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> Very clever, Mizuki. You're not doing anything under the kotatsu, are you? No! What? Sorry, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Aiba. Shama. He hasn't changed since the first time I, s I met him. Oh, right. Got this stuff, too. Aiba, can you make a funny face? Why? Just do it. Okay, fine. How's this? <laughs> Hilarious. That's totally normal. I can't help it. There's not much I can do in this form. Mizuki, quick, get your breasts out and dance. Whoa, Aiba. Why? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> All right, let's wink sing Shoma. I like how very obviously the model's still standing. 
I'm still not over it, you know. I'll show them justice. Shoma. Guess he wants revenge for his father's death. Is camping fun? It's a change of pace. I don't have good memories of this season. I came back, and there was a ton of commotion with what happened. Is that why you're here, Mizuki? I guess you could say that. How are you? Can't you tell? I can't tell by looking, which is why I'm asking. Sometimes I talk to you thinking you're down, but you're doing well. Other times I think you're in a good mood, but you're not. Well, I'm normal. I'm not, like, having fun or anything. That's the Shoma I know. What? <laughs> you're weird. Do you know about Nyes? Yeah, of course I know. Because... Uh... I used to be a member. What? It was a while back. I'm not with them anymore. But you know about Nyes pretty well, then. I guess so. I know about their philosophy. About the Nirvana Initiative. That I don't know too well. I know the Nirvana Trial, the video. I continued to ask Shoma about Nyes, but he knew nothing more than I knew already. Oh, this? After coming back from camping, I found that the one I made earlier was missing. So I'm making a new one. It went missing. Was it stolen? I don't know, but it's not like it's gonna move on its own. So I'm guessing it was taken. I don't know who would go through the trouble. How many people knew about the robot? Only people close to me. Ah, well, I did show that Ryuki guy when he came to question me. Ryuki? Ryuki? It does not seem like Shoma is lying. Hmm. He most likely has no idea that the robot was used at the stadium. Aiba, have you noticed anything off with Shoma? I do not believe he is lying about anything, and his appearance does not tell me anything. It's good that he wasn't caught up in all this mess. But why was Shoma's robot used to carry Jin's left half? That is still unknown. We still don't know if it actually was his robot, right? True, but... Hey, Mizuki. Can I ask you a question? Six years ago, Jin Furaway's right half went up in flames out of nowhere, right? Did you ever find out how it was done? Yeah. Oh, well, the body had a small thermite bomb inside it. It was set up so the bomb detonated on a timer. I see. Why do you ask? No reason. Aren't you on the clock right now? You're gonna get scolded if your boss finds out. Ugh. Shoma is right. You need to work like a breeding horse to keep boss off your back. Don't say that. What? You need to work like a draft horse. I thought I heard something else. <laughs> Alright, Iowan Garden. Go see Leon. Is anyone here? Where is Leon? Oh, he's with Kizuna. Oh, there he is. Hey, Mizuki, something is wrong. Huh? You do not have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. Sorry, Kizzy. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll head home. But if there's anything you need, just call me, okay? I'll fly right over. Are you pitying me? What? On that day six years ago, I became disabled. I used to love dancing, but I can never dance again. You apologized so many times. You said you were sorry you couldn't protect me. That must be why you stay by my side. I have burdened you with that guilt. Am I right, Leon? No. Kizzy, I... Ugh. What are you doing? Putting an end to this. They, they need to know. <sighs> Mizuki. Big sis. Kizzy. She must have been through hell. 
She was only putting up a facade. The signs were there during the wink sink the other day. Those repressed emotions must have finally boiled over. Oh, I uh, made Kizzy upset. She said that I'm only with her because I feel guilty. And I told her that's not true, but I guess words aren't enough. You're goddamn right, words aren't, words aren't enough. I apologize. I wish you hadn't seen that. Mizuki, have you forgotten why we are here? We are here to ask Lian about yesterday. That can wait. I can't just leave these two like this. I want to see them get along. How? Well... It is hard to fix what has been broken. The arrow of time only moves in one direction. Wait, what did you say? The arrow of time? That's it! The time capsule from six years ago! If we could dig that up... Huh? Yuzuki? Where are you going? I think it was around here somewhere. It's right here. There it is! Indeed. Lian, can you go grab a shovel? Well, that was out of nowhere. You gonna bury a dead body or something? No, I'm going to dig something up. A dead body? No, the time capsule. Time. Capsule. They seriously forget? Ugh. The shoes are still in good condition. The letters, too. Why don't you read it? Uh, right now? Yes. Do you want to bury it for another six years? <sighs> okay, then. I... What's wrong? This is kind of embarrassing. You just do it. Just do it. To Kizzy. I love you, Kizzy. I really, 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 really love you. Okay, this is embarrassing. When I first saw you, I seriously thought an angel descended from heaven. I was thunderstruck. At that moment, I decided to devote my life to you. The glass slippers that I put in the capsule are a symbol of my never-ending love for you. To me, six years in the future. I'll never forgive you if you make Kizzy cry. I'm gonna fly to you and punch your stupid face. Whatever happens, always be by her side. When she's struggling or in pain, support her with everything you got. Even if your feelings aren't reciprocated, make sure she's always smiling. Make sure you dedicate your life to her happiness. That is my request to you. You're up next, Kizzy. Here. But, but... No buts. Read. Fine. To me, six years from now, how do you truly feel toward him? I still do not know exactly how to feel about him. But no matter how I might feel in the future, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. It is not becoming of me to play games with a man's heart. If you think no, you need to tell him no. It would be better for him. But if you do have feelings for him, I'm sorry, Leon. Sorry? Is that a rejection? No, I meant about earlier. I took out my frustration on you. And I am sorry for that. I should not be placing my anger on people I care about. If it is acceptable to you, if you do not mind that I am the way I am, Lian, will you? Kizzy, it's like I said before. Six years have gone by, but my feelings haven't changed. My love is eternally undying. I myself have changed. What do you mean? My feelings have changed over the last six years. Leon, I... I love you. 
You are my Prince Charming. Kizzy? Kizzy? Mizuki, why are you here anyway? Oh, right. I asked Leon if I had overlooked anything from last night. He told me quickly that I hadn't. Why did we even come here? <laughs> hey, they're happy now. I think that's worth it. It's fine. We made them happy. I'm glad. Totally. Thank you, Mizuki. The day started with seeing all those awful things. Kizzy was on the brink of hating me. It could have been the worst day of my life, but now it's become the best day of my life. Oh, you mean because we were in Horidori Institute past midnight? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. That too. That, that too? too? What horrible things did you see, Leon? Iba, can I wink sink into Leon? I will not protest. But why? I got a feeling. I think Leon is hiding something. Uh oh. Hmm. <sighs> what are you hiding, Leon? Hey, is this for real? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock and see what's inside. What did all that mean? Unknown. Leon must have seen something that shocked him. That must be what he was referring to earlier. Huh. Hmm. Thank you. It is all thanks to you, Big Sis. But I do not know how Father is going to take this news. <laughs> That is my only concern. But I am an adult now. I will solve this on my own. Hey, good for you guys. I'm gonna get going now. I wish both of you eternal happiness. S stop it, big sis. I'm gonna make Kizzy the happiest girl in the world. No, the whole universe. Leanne. <laughs> Mizuki. What do you want to do about Leon? We could probably leave it for now. About the wink sink? I mean, it is concerning, but I think we should focus on our investigation. Understood. Let us proceed to the next location. Probably have to end up sinking with Leon later. Kizzy's in a good mood. I think we can move on now. Alright, let's go to Brahmin and see Gen. Oh, Amame. Right, that's what we're trying to find. Forgot about that part for some reason. Oh, she's down again. So what are you here for today, Mizuki? Oh, I wanted to talk to Mame. We're kind of busy right now, so can you make it quick? Oh, I'm not here for you, Kenny. I meant Amame is busy. Kenny, are you mad about something? No, not at all. You seem a little mad. Yeah, you're mad. As you can see, I'm all smiles as usual. Okay. So, Mame, can we talk for a little bit? Oh, um, yeah. Oh, 
said, fine. I'm just focusing on work, that's all. You asked me that like you were asking for a glass of water. That facility, it's a really touchy subject for me. It's not something I want to casually discuss here. If you really want to know, at least wait until after work. Uh, I've heard about some group like that, yeah. But I don't really know anything about it. What is that? I've never even heard of it. Seems a little mean today. He's definitely in a bad mood. Yeah, I haven't really been doing well recently. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Horidori Institute? What's that? I'm not familiar. Aren't we told she was seen there a few days ago with Tokiko? Or not with Tokiko, but... Around the same time Tokiko went there? I know the name. I saw it on some occult website. But I don't know anything more than that. Sorry. But like I said before, I don't really know any of the details. I just looked it up online. Hmm. Well, this is a waste of time. Mizuki, take a look at this. Oh, is her temperature rising? Yep. Mame. She's lying. Not just her. Gen as well. Gen too? What do you think? They are both hiding something. Oh, fantastic. Guess they leave us no choice. Let's have a look. Yes. Alright. Wink sink. Start with Mame. <sighs> what do I do? I have to obey. I... I... Help me, Dad. You're watching from heaven, right? So please. Is... She's the being threatened by terror. She also mentioned her father. Watching from heaven, right? Um, Mame, this might be a touchy subject, but your dad, is he deceased? Yes. Six years ago. Six years ago. So everything ha everything in these games happened six years ago. Hold on. I require charging between winks. Use your backup battery. Can't we use the backup? You mean like I did for Kizuna and Lian? Those were special circumstances. <laughs> Come on, just do it. Come on, Iba. <sighs> Fine. But I did warn you. Sorry, Kenny. I shouldn't have told you. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Interesting. Amame must have told Gen something very important. Perhaps a secret. So that is the situation. Yeah, the two of them are hiding something important. Indeed. Oh, by the way, this is all your fault. Huh? I am out of battery. Hey, wait! Iva! Iva! Oh, great. Oh, I need to head to work now. Huh? And I need to go shopping. I'm low on ingredients. Wait, bye. Goodbye. Ugh, what is going on? Seriously, what the hell? Alright, let's go to Lemnus Skate. What are we going to learn at Lemnus Skate? I'm genuinely curious why Mizuki wanted to come here. Hey, it's Yogano. The other Yakuza guy. The fuck Mizuki, is he doing here? Kiss me. What? What? Kiss me, Mizuki. I just realized this. What are you doing, Iris? Kiss me, Mizuki is a palindrome. No, it isn't. It is no. Hey, didn't think the president herself would show up. 
What do you mean? Yeah, I'm not here for work today. Investigating the case? Yeah, I'm doing some questioning. Based on Lemnus Gate's schedule, I knew Iris would be here. So I wanted to come talk. Hmm. Okay. Um. Stop. Do not interact with him. Why not? I recognize him. He is a Kumakura. Ah. Uh. But there's something abnormal about him. What do you want? You got a problem? No, I was just wondering what you were doing here. Why am I here? Duh, Yomante. Iomante? Hit it in the head and you can hear the sound of civilization. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Curry rice? School bag? Shishamo hell? Hey, wake up, old man Shamo. Is this why he got divorced? Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Gregory. Gregory. Greco Roman style. Oh, he's crazy. I told you not to talk to him. Huh. You know, I have to. What? The enemy aliens are attacking? This isn't good. We need a Mr. Bear. Vroom, vroom. Hurry. We need to fly to Yosemite National Park. Oh. Oh. Let's pretend we didn't see any of that. Yeah. Okay. Slurp, 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 slurp. It's not so ba. Those noodles are really long. Mizuki, look! It's a Ceratocanthus! Yay! Go, Ceratocanthus! Special regarding wireworms. Mizuki, can you steal it for me later? I'm the president here. I don't need to <laughs> steal. Yeah. Tessa, you can sit on me whenever you like. Aw, thank you. What are you doing, Iris? Excuse me? Do you get what he's saying? <sighs> I swear these two. Mizuki, do you know where Ryuki is? Let me guess, because six years ago he asked you to say hi to the table. Why? Well, I haven't seen him in a while. He's not well. I did take his advice, though. Advice? About what? Okay. Sometimes they show Tessa's videos there. Yeah, the most recent one we shot was me splitting watermelon on the beach. I want to see. Yeah, that's about right. Hey, receptionist. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Thank you, Iba. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. The big titty receptionist. <laughs> big titty. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. Titty. There are big titties sitting behind the desk. Are you malfunctioning? <laughs> Hello. Oh, Perez. You look cute today. Cutest in the whole wide world. <laughs> Can you raise my salary? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I always give it my hundo percent. Like when one of those big shot producer guys comes in here, I greet them at the desk naked. What? Yeah, you're fired. Aw, come on. Bring me on full time. I don't think so. Um, are you trying to seduce me into going to a Tommy with you? No. <laughs> uh, huh? Did you want to ask me something? No. Nope. Not at all. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't you ask me something like, why are you here? Don't want to know. You're just waiting for Iris, aren't you? Yeah, you nailed it. 
Stupid Oda with his stupid hair. <laughs> Get a haircut. You fucking loser. <sighs> hey, Iris. Iris, our top moneymaker. She's full of energy as usual. I'm not an informant, you know. I know, but you're always on top of gossip and rumors. Well, if that's what you're looking for. You got something? Remember when I told you about the video two days ago? The Nirvana trial, right? And that many people have gone missing after watching the video. Yeah, that. I heard there's something big going down. Something big? Well, recently, we've been hearing rumors from all over Japan. A bunch of people have started acting really weird. Like that guy? That is accurate. National news stations are beginning to report on this phenomenon. Well, what do you mean by acting weird? Like people who start dancing for no reason, smash glass windows in stores. Ah, it's the virus. Some people have been reported rolling up and down the streets or hitting their heads on light poles. Standing in the middle of an intersection for tens of hours. Running into a wall over and over and over again. And also, people jumping. Yeah, jumping off rooftops. Hmm. Were you saying this was all caused by the Nirvana trial? Yeah. All those people started acting strangely after watching the video. Hi, but does that video have some kind of mind control effect? No, it does not. After all, you saw the video as well. Good point. And I'm as normal as ever. Hey, about that guy. What's he doing here? I don't know. He was here when I got here. There's something wrong with him. Is he doing hard drugs or something? Shh, he'll hear you! Oh no, he's coming over. Told you! You saw the video too? Huh? What? The Nirvana trial. Yeah. I did yeah so you must have went there went there where let me just tell you this the practice run will be done on the rooftop of misata later well that was ominous oh glad nothing happened i wonder if he saw the video too seems so so the rumors were true. Watching the video makes you go crazy? Yeah. I am curious about what he said. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misatot. But then again, calling him scatterbrained would be charitable. We probably do not need to put too much stock into what he said. Thinking about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Anyway, Iris and Ota, I'm going to get going. Okay. Good luck with the investigation. Hmm. Let's go see Moma. Maybe we'll get something out of him. Hey, Mizuki. What are you here for? I'm investigating the HB case. I was hoping to get some new information. Ah, uh, new info, huh? Hacking. I am trying, but it may take a while. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We, 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 don't, we don't need to know what's on there. Hey, Mizuki. Does looking at that lantern give you ideas? Give me ideas? Like fear or something? No. Uh, oh, I, I see. <laughs> She's trying to find them. Debate Tessa's future. All right. First, not get angry when an update is required for playing a game. Yeah, come on, guys. Do, re, me, sofa. You two are doing it too. I'm doing an impression of that famous third-generation thief jumping into bed. 
Okay, so hey, Mama. Or, no, we're not done yet. Thank you, Iva. Hey, everyone. Let me introduce my beautiful wife. I shouldn't have done this. It's Iris Saga. Oh, honey. We're married now, so it's Iris Kumakura, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. Hello, everyone. I'm Iris Kumakura. Nice to meet you. I fell in love with Moma's masculine manliness, so I just had to marry him. Um. Yes, you are so happy you to be with you. Too. Too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Imagination is running wild. He's, he's really gone off the rails in the last six years. He might be going crazy too. Alright, so about the Kumakura Lemnus Gate. Oh, that's Dr. Yogano. He's a Tessa fan too. Probably why he was at Lemnus Gate. Yeah, I don't think that's why he was there. No, it didn't seem like that was why. Oh, what do you mean? There was something wrong with him. He was acting strange. Oh, well, yeah, he's always like that. Don't worry about it. No. I mean, he is the kind of guy who will bust out a Gatling gun and start shooting at the drop of a hat. Huh. Well, what were you doing here alone? What do you think I'm doing? I'm watching Tessa's new video. Alone? Well, let's see. I don't know if this is related to the HB case, but... At Iowin, the joint run by Richie Chieda? Yeah. A long time ago. One of their kids went missing. Yeah, we heard about this. There's a rumor that Shikara Horadori had something to do with it. I don't think we heard that part. You mean he kidnapped the child? I don't know. But I do know that Shikara's been doing shady shit for a while. Yeah, we know all about that. Went around the country doing DNA examinations of children. Plus all that sketchy research he was doing. Maybe he was using the kids as part of his research or something. Maybe combining bodies. Combining bodies? What do you mean by combining bodies? I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? Well, the the chick the Horridor Institute does have the bisection machine. And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other. And you know, that is kind of what his somnium was about. Oh no. What? Hold on. Why would they do that? I don't know. No way of knowing what's going on inside some nut chop's head. Anyway, Chikara was supposed to be doing shit like that. That's definitely related to the HB case. Yeah, maybe. It seems that Chikara really was attempting the experiment Mama described. Yeah. That would explain the machines in the basement. And why there were two. Yeah. Damn. Thanks, Mama. I think what you told me might turn out to be a big help. Nah, don't thank me. Instead of thanks, could you... What, what do you want from Iris? Bring Tessa with you next time? No. I'll think about it. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. I feel bad that we have to bring Iris here again. All right, let's go see Mama. See what divination we can get this time. Oh, Mizuki. Drinking early, I see. Not drinking. I need to ride later, so I'm not drinking. Also, I'm underage. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're here to gather some intel, right? I wonder if that dipshit has spent more nights sleeping on this than the couch. Dipshit. Oh, Date. Of course. 
Are we finally going to count how many bottles there are? You must really be bored. Man, fuck you, game. Fucking search of lost tire irons. Wanna watch a video of a female praying mantis devouring a male? Oh, hell yeah. I am kind of curious, but not now. Curse you, Mizuki. <laughs> Ipa wants to watch bug videos. Silence and wangs. What is Caprese? You'll know tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's Valentine's Day, right? It's a salad, not a portmanteau <laughs> of couples are crazy. I feel like I've explained this before. I'm glad they brought that one back. All right, Mama. Wait, thank you. Here's a question. If you get it, I'll buy you a drink. What's something that hangs down the middle of a man? What's your answer, Mama? They come in different shapes and sizes, too. It's so not a necktie. I was talking about wieners. Oh, so it was just straightforward. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was just talking about dicks. That's about right. Alright. Uh, about the crystal balls. Hmm. What about them? Oh, nothing important. Crystal is just kind of meaningful to me. How so? That's what I was named after. Crystal and kanji can be read as Mizuki. That's what Daddy told me a long time ago. That's beautiful. I think it fits you perfectly. Though, I guess it wasn't his idea. Yeah. Horidori Institute, huh? Oh, I remember. You know that they were closed down once, about 15 years ago, right? The underground was abuzz with rumors about them doing some sketchy research. Rumor is, the one who leaked the story was Richie Chieda. Richie leaked the story. Mr. Chieda? Did he do that so he could buy the institute? Or... No, because he didn't really buy the institute. Richie Chieda is a major stakeholder at Horadori Institute. So why would he leak that? He must have had plenty of opportunities to gather insider info. He's the chairman of an orphanage, you know. Because, you know, we did see in Kizuna Somnium that he knew about Chikara's research. So he was the one that leaked it, leaked it to the underground? Huh. He really does love children. So maybe he decided he couldn't turn a blind eye. Maybe. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you. If anything, I want some answers from you. About what? Well, about Jin's left half being found at the stadium three days ago. Oh, I can't tell you anything about that. Could his body have traveled through time? That's impossible. I didn't tell her about the one-wheeled robot. It would take a while to explain. There's something fishy about that stadium. What's fishy about the stadium? Maybe there's some strange device hidden there. Think about it. They've been doing construction there for half a year. They said something about some issues with the structure. Maybe that's just a cover, and they're really working on something else. Huh. Like what? Like a time portal to teleport Jin's left half from six years ago. It feels like Mama has changed ever since she started telling fortunes. I don't remember her talking about occult stuff like that before. Hmm. Thanks, Mama. If anything comes up, be sure to tell me. You're welcome. Uh, by the way, Mizuki, any boyfriends? Uh, that came out of nowhere. I was just hoping for an introduction, is all. Uh, 
Unfortunately, not right now. Not right now? I go to an old girls' school. Finding a boyfriend there would be pretty difficult, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. I should have gone to college. <laughs> oh, well. Come back soon. And next time, get a ride from someone. Hmm? I told you I'm not drinking! All right, studio divider. Completely empty. On that day, six years ago, Shoma's father was found here. Indeed, but only his right side. We still haven't found the left side of Komeji either. What are you showing me? It is an image that was stored on the investigation database. I was not physically present. Not that it would have made a difference. I lost all memory from that incident six years ago. So, what do you want to do here? Well, I kind of just wanted to retrace the investigation steps. Komeiji's estimated time of death was February 13, 2200. The cause of death is obvious. Komeiji was kidnapped here and taken underground at Horidori Institute. Indeed. Komeiji's right half was found February 13, six years ago. It was discovered by Ryuki, Amame, Iris, Shoma, and Kizuna. Ryuki came here with Komeji in an attempt to contact Terror. He was attacked and rendered unconscious, which also disabled Tama. I wonder if it was Terror that attacked him. That is the most likely possibility. Yeah. While Ryuki was unconscious, the other four individuals entered. And Komeji's right side was found. Anyway... Why are you curious about this? Well, I'm done here. Let's get going. Hmm? Am I that mesmerizing? Hmm. I suppose you just cannot help yourself. I am the cutest thing in the world. I'm cuter. Is something wrong with your eyes? Oh, self-deprecating now? Oh, <laughs> I just got that one. <laughs> Alright, guess we're heading to the shrine now. For some reason. There's still some things that are bothering me. Like what Lian... Uh oh. Suspicious group of people caught my attention. Nice followers! Oh shit. Uh, they're nice! Oh, my cat's making noise. Specifically, the armed group that went into hiding. Yeah, what the hell are they doing here? What are they doing here? Why don't you interrogate them? Well, you can beat them up. I don't think they're just gonna answer me. In that case... Time to kick ass. Praying Mantis! Mizuki, 
This is no time to mess around. I forgot to clean my belly button. Who cares about your belly button? We can throw the stone monument at them. Sure, good luck with that. Wow, pretty flowers. <laughs> Stop distracting yourself. We can use that tree to... Sorry, can't think of anything. What is your plan? I know, we should have the guardian lion dog protect us. How do you suggest we do that? We'll distract them with the bell, and then... Why the subterfuge? Let's tie them up with the rope. That's sacrilegious. The offering box. Let's hit them with the offering box. If you want to get cursed, be my guest. All right. Oh, we can wing sing them. Bombs. Or missiles? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rehearsal tonight. A rocket with TC Purge in the war. Oh boy. We shoot this up and. <laughs> That's not great. They're gonna cover the city with TC Purge. TC Purge? Terror wrote about the same thing. The one thing I needed was being created in this very facility. TC Purge, such a wonderful virus. If it's implemented into a rocket, it would cause TC Purge to spread. Airborne. But where are they gonna shoot off a rocket? Misaton. Likely not around here. I searched the area with X-ray, but I did not find anything of that nature. Then... Hey! Excuse me. What do you want? I want to ask you something. Where's the rocket at? Uh -huh. Could you be less subtle? You are supposed to be a detective. How do you know about it? <laughs> Who cares how? Yeah, because now that you know... Wait, hold on. Are we gonna fight? Just so you know, I'm really strong. When I was in elementary school, I kicked down a tree. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. Yep, that's me. We fought at the cathedral six years ago, right? Yeah, remember, assholes? So you do remember. So you know what this means. Anyway, you and your goon should really back off. <laughs> You're just one little girl. And now that you know our secret, we can't just let you leave. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Hey, your funeral. Oh, fine. All right. Bring it on. You should take us more seriously. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, the masked woman. Hey. Are you okay? Uh, you? We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh. Well, you're in a bad spot. Team. Oh. Hmm. 
very nice. <laughs> Damn it. The rehearsal is soon. We can't waste any more time here. Ah, screw it. Let's just get out of here. Hey, you're going nowhere. Uh oh. What happened? Are you okay? It's fine. It'll pass. Oh yeah, her condition. Don't worry about me. Go after them. Uh, what? They're already gone. They're gone. Damn. Something's wrong with her heart, isn't it? We learned that before. Why didn't you chase after them? You should have just left me. No, I couldn't do that. Anyway, why come here? I find comfort here. I was raised at Iowan. What? So that means she's probably one of Chikara's experiments, too. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna call it an episode here, because it's getting late for me. But, we will pick up here in the next episode, and, uh, maybe get some information from the mysterious woman. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!